So Joao Morelli in the 53rd minute. Morelli slowly runs up, takes and scores! The first goal in 2022 and the boots are still golden for Joao Morelli. Element fun to one off the Halifax player last. Well, it does now. And Joao Morelli. Looks like he's favoring his left knee. Last year's top goal scorer in the CPL and golden boot winner and most valuable player is going to leave the field of play with a suspected injury to his left knee. I wouldn't wish that on anyone in football. You know, it's one of the toughest, toughest injuries to go through. We, we tried to come together after that, but obviously he's, he's almost irreplaceable. It proved difficult because we not only missed the goals and hit the quality he brought to the team, but the leadership. Yeah, it was hard, you know. I don't think the guys really believed it. You know, he came such in a quick moment. At the end of a game like that, it was it was kind of a pretty hard blow for us because he was one of our best players. There, there's no hiding that we struggle for goals this season, uh, which was a, a common team for us last season. Uh, and 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 removing one man that brought us success la last year was a uh, was a, a big part to that. It's been tough for the most part, uh, losing the best player in the league last year to, uh, in the second game, uh, knowing that he he would have definitely helped us out uh, along the way. Bent plays it across. And guess who? Morelli! And obviously it was a big uh, blow to him early in the season with Jal getting injured. And uh, I could just see like from the first game, we had the quality, it was just more we needed to find our rhythm and getting going. And I think it was like, at one point, it was maybe too easy for teams to come over to our home pitch and get goals. Key moments in the season where we didn't perform and I think that's where it kind of gone wrong for us. But. Um, yeah, overall, I think um, a disappointing season in the end to not uh, um, do our best when it, when it matters. The season so far, uh, it's, been, it's been tough, honestly, because cause we had goals and aspirations this year to definitely be one of the top teams. We had a couple of good games, a couple of bad games, some results that didn't go our way, some great performances, some, some not so great performances. Um, uh, I mean, it's been tough for the team. Some people are, are, are not happy. We, we are not happy. We, we know we could have we could have done better. Um, but uh, all in all, um, it, it is one of those special places in the league and nobody can deny that. The main point was to go over the things that we we're proud of and, and, and one of the main things was, was how lucky we were to have that fan base with us uh, on a consistent base. Um, no matter uh, the results, and I think that's something that we have to realize how lucky we are to have. Uh, it's great. We always say they're the best fans in the league, but they really are the best fans in the league. So it's great playing every every game. They have wondrous grounds. They're always there supporting us, cheering for us even in hard times. Unreal, honestly. Um, to be honest, like when I first walked in, first walked in the stadium, it was goosebumps. Um, team of support. Uh, the fans have been amazing. Uh, so supportive and yeah, it's just it's a pleasure to play in front of the city and to have to represent them. Oh, it's like when you're playing, like they give you second wins, like you want to like impress, you want to constantly be good, you don't want to, you don't want to look like you're slacking, not running, like you want to give you all 110 percent every time. And like when you get numbers like that, especially in the Canadian Premier League, obviously we've got the best fans, so you want to do the best for them. And that's what they deserve. Now, a lot of us are in our first professional season, so. Having that little bit more experience is really what's going to take us to the next level that we want to be at and that our fans deserve to be watching us at. So if we have that, I think we'll be a really strong contention. Uh, some of the younger guys in our group got this season was, uh, was a tremendous benefit. Uh, there's also things that we got to look at and, and, and really improve uh, for, for next season if, if we want to, to, to really compete. Well, the average age of the team is only 22 years old. Um, so that, I mean, that, that in itself is a, you know, a sort of a building block, really. Hopefully we can continue to build, to build this club to, to a level we know that we can, we can get to.